Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Clément Pieguet, and I'm a researcher at CERMA Strasbourg in the UMRAE, a research unit in environmental acoustics. And I'm going to present you a joint modeling approach for the acoustic and thermal properties of fibrous materials with a specific application to the case of buildings' vegetal walls. I'm going to do it by first introducing a brief context concerning vegetal walls and their specific characteristics. In the green building field, these bio-based materials contribute to a smart management of natural resources with a low environmental impact. They also have the advantage of storing carbon dioxide, which is the main greenhouse gas responsible for global warming over a long period. Vegetal wools are characterized by a number of variability factors. For example, the harvest period and the defibration quality can lead to a large vegetal fibers ready variability. Look at this bar chart. It shows us the distribution of flax fibers ready characterized by with scanning electron microscope pictures. You'll see that vegetal fibers ready are more spread than synthetic fibers one. These polyester fibers are added to the vegetal ones, usually around 15 mass percent, to ensure the fiber cohesion in a wool panel. As you can see in this sample, vegetal wools are anisotropic, having fibers organized in parallel layers. So, in the specific case of this presentation, we can define one main working direction perpendicular to the fibers, which correspond to the main using orientation of these insulation materials. To make sure we take these specificities into account, especially at micro scale, we have to expose some basic hypotheses on the material's nature. We consider a single porosity biphasic medium composed of a solid phase and a fluid phase of viscosity mu saturating the medium. In a first approximation for this presentation, the solid phase is considered rigid, but for a mechanical dissipation case, it is possible to consider a limp or an elastic behavior. The energy of an acoustic wave will be dissipated in the fluid phase by the both viscous and thermal effect. For the thermal properties, we take the both conduction and radiation effects into account. For such a type of fibrous insulator, the convection heat transfer is generally overlooked in the literature. To relate acoustic dissipations to thermal heat transfers, we have decided to use a joint acoustical and thermal modeling based on an homogenization approach, which is based on the both fundamental assumptions, the existence of a representative elementary volume, and the scale separation. So, this figure represents the simplified material modeling in which fibers are parallel to each other and in a regular layout. To describe the physical phenomena, each studied field, such as velocity, pressure, or temperature, is expressed as an asymptotic function in power of the scale ratio epsilon. The process of periodic homogenization consists of rescale equations which govern the physics at local scale. After the identification of the term of the same power in epsilon, we obtain these equations. The first one means that the pressure in the pores vary at the microscopic scale. The second one means that the fluid can be considered as locally incompressible. The third and the fourth correspond respectively to the Navier-Stokes equation and the heat equation. The final step of HPM, which is based on both the variational formulation and the energy conservation, leads to these macroscopic laws. However, the HPM is used regardless of the morphology of the periodic elementary volume and numerical computations are used to find solutions. But our aim is to determine analytical solutions. And to do this, a self-consistent approach can be used relies on the HPM macroscopic laws. To do this, a simplification of the periodic volume is necessary. So, to get closer to a simplified morphology of fibrous medium microstructure, the fibers are assimilated to a cylinder of a constant radius over its entire length, as shown for a vegetal fiber in this SEM picture. Thus, we consider this generic inclusion which is composed of a solid cylinder into a fluid cylinder. So this generic inclusion can be described by two parameters, the porosity and an equivalent fiber radius. These both parameters 
are considered as the only two input data of the joint modeling approach for the acoustic and thermal properties of fibrous materials. For the acoustic modeling, the cylindrical SCM can be mixed with a composite modeling in the case of a material composed by two types of fibers, such as vegetal woods. It leads to the determination of two material intrinsic parameters, the characteristic impedance and the wave number. For the thermal properties, the cylindrical SCM is used for conduction transfer modeling and it is associated with the bank vol modeling, which is used for the radiation transfer. It leads to the determination of an equivalent thermal conductivity. Then, with the material thickness, it is possible to obtain macroscopic acoustic and thermal properties such as absorption coefficient, transmission loss, and thermal resistivity. As you saw in the previous diagram, cylindrical SCM is developed in dynamic for the acoustical modeling. First, for the viscoinertial effects, the both pressure and velocity fields are expressed with functions based on both position vector here and forcing term G. They are put into these basic relationships to obtain differential equations. By resolving them, it offers two valid solutions, the pressure approach and the flow approach. In the case of this presentation, only the pressure approach, which is more suitable with vegetal wool, are used. The dynamic permeability is expressed as a function of three constants and modified Bessel functions of both first and second species. So, we can obtain the dynamic density of the fibrous material. For the thermal effect, the temperature field are put into the heat equation. After solving the differential equation and using boundary conditions, and especially the energy conservation, using the same methodology as this inertial effect, we obtain the thermal permeability. It is also expressed as modified Bessel functions of both first and second species. So, it is possible to obtain the bulk modulus K. As we have previously seen concerning vegetal wools, they are composed of two types of fibers, vegetal and polymer. To take the specificity into account, it is possible to use a modeling approach based on a mix of the cylindrical SCM with the composite modeling method. So, it is possible to determine an equivalent dynamic density and an equivalent bulk modulus as a function of flow, the volume fraction of polymer fibers in the fibrous medium with the assumption of a full coupling. Now it's time to complete the joint approach by modeling the thermal properties of fibrous materials. First, we start with the conduction effects. In permanent regime with a cylindrical geometry, the heat equation can be expressed by this equation. High may be the solid or the fluid phase. It may be also the equivalent homogeneous medium. The solution of this differential equation can be right as a function of here, theta, the forcing term G, and two constants for both phases and the equivalent medium. This constant can be determined with boundary conditions and especially the energy conservation. Finally, we obtain the expression of the equivalent thermal conductivity in the case of a perpendicular flow as a function of porosity and both solid and fluid specific thermal conductivities. In the case of low density fibrous materials, such as vegetal wools, which often have values below 40 kg per cubic meter, radiation transfer phenomena may occur. To take it into account, we use the bank vol modeling. It determines a radiation conductivity as a function of Stefan Boltzmann constant, a mean temperature value, a radiation coefficient, and our two input data, the porosity and an equivalent fiber radius value. So, it is possible to obtain a coupled conduction radiation thermal conductivity. We called it equivalent thermal conductivity in the following of this presentation. Now that we have introduced all the modeling tools, it's time to use a joint acoustic thermal modeling approach on a flax wool. You can see its basic characteristics here. This sample has been chosen because 
it has a low density and therefore a high porosity value of 98.4%. Two equivalent fiber radius are determined for both vegetal and polymer fibers. They are based on fiber distributions characterized on the basis of 300 surveys carried out on about 20 SEM images. In the first time, these fiber radius values and the porosity are used to determine the acoustic absorption performances of the flax wood. The joint modeling process with its input data is summarized here. The cylindrical SEM absorption coefficient is represented in this graph as a function of frequency. You can also see the results of experimental measurements obtained with a standing wave tube at normal incidence. Max and mean are delimited in the gray range and the green line represents the mean experimental value. As you can see, the cylindrical SEM give results very close to experimental measurements. Now we can determine the thermal performances of the flax wool. Using the thermal modeling process, we first obtain the conduction thermal conductivity as a function of density, as shown by the scion curve in this graph. Then we obtain the radiation thermal conductivity as shown by the magenta curve. The equivalent thermal conductivity is represented by the red curve and can be compared to the experimental measurements. The results given by the thermal properties modeling are also very close to the experimental results. They lead to a value of the optimum couplet conduction radiation transfers near to 40 kg per cubic meter. Even if above this value conduction heat transfer phenomena are largely preponderant, these results show that thermal radiation phenomena should not be neglected. This brings me to the end of my presentation. In this presentation, an innovative joint procedure for the determination of acoustic and thermal properties of fibrous materials has been presented and detailed. It is mainly based on a self-consistent method developed in cylindrical geometry and relies on two input parameters, porosity and an equivalent fiber radius value. It has been successfully applied to the case of a vegetal wool, but it could also be used for other fibrous insulators materials and even other fibrous media. Moreover, this approach, which can still be perfected, opens a number of development possibilities, particularly concerning the joint acoustic and thermal optimization of fibrous media performances. Thank you for your attention.